All right, here's how to get your green crab ready for fishing for blackfish. So you're gonna cut all the legs off. Gotta watch that hook, he can pinch you with that. All right, you got all the legs cut off. Now you're gonna get that little hood there and just remove that little hood. Now I'm gonna get the scissors and put it right up the middle. There's a nice crease there. There's a nice crease. And you just cut it in half. See all that nice meat for the blackfish. Here's the blackfish rig I'm using. At the bottom, I got a bottom sweeper jig, okay? It's a little different from a fluke rig. This is flat on the bottom. It just sits on the bottom. You're not jigging this like a fluke rig or a fluke jig. I'm gonna get that bottom sweeper jig. I'm gonna put it through the part where I cut and then I'm gonna come out and put it in one of them leg sockets. Make sure you put it on so the point of the hook is exposed and the barb. Okay? So you're just going to drop that straight down and that's going to sit on the bottom like that. Now a lot of guys don't use a teaser hook, but I use a teaser hook too. So I'm getting the other half of the green crab. Gonna put it through the part I cut. Just like that. I'm just dropping that rig right along that pole. Just like that. All these poles are good structure for blackfish or tog. Piers bridge pilings, bridge supports, all good. That's where all the tay tog like to hang. Tog, blackfish, whatever you call them.